All right, so I uh, quick want to make a <coughs> video on templates or generics if you're coming from a uh, different language like Java, .NET, or uh, Python, or whatever, what have you. Um, in this uh, here video, we're just going to talk a little bit about uh, generics and how they work, templates, and uh, basically what they allow you to do is make cast uh, uh, class types or uh, arrays, if you will, that are of uh, some random type that you're not entirely sure what it is. Um, they can also be called vectors too if you're reading, <coughs> depending on the type, type of uh, textbook that you are uh, reading as well. So. Let's uh, get underway here. So I'm going to right-click on my solution here in Visual Studio, and I'm going to hit Add. I'm going to add a class, and I'm going to call this generic. That's going to be, uh, what is this already? Uh, no, I do not. I'm going to call it generic class, I guess. Something goofy is going on. Uh, anyways, okay, so cool. Uh, I just want to make sure I don't have anything random. All right, awesome. So essentially, uh, what it did here is it generated right our header file for us, our generic class header file, and our generic class uh, program file. I'm going to get rid of this really quick out of our generic class, and I'm going to go back to our generic class header file. Right, this is the header file, right? Kind of precursor for everything. It's kind of like an interface, and uh, I'm just going to make a really quick. Uh, adjustment to this and all you have to do here is we're going to say template and we're going to say class t and that's to tell a compiler that hey I'm going to uh, be making this class now a template type and I'm going to pass some class I don't know what it is but I'm going to pass a class to you and then the rest of this is going to assume that uh, whatever I assign t or whatever I do t with it uh, will have those types of properties so I'll show you what I mean here in a minute, but uh, in the meantime, let's do private t object. Let's do that, and, um, and then we'll do public, or we don't have to do public. Sorry, t get t, and we'll do void set t, t new t. Right, that'll be uh, that'll be kind of our. Uh, our constructor and deconstructors and all sorts of things like that. So, uh, okay, so let's uh, get underway here. So we're going to go over to our C++ class now, and I'm going to start uh, writing the code for the constructor here. I'm going to do template class, move my cursor, class T, and uh, we named it uh, generic class T, and this is the constructor now, right? This is our constructor. Okay. And we also need to know our deconstructor, so template class T, generic class T, generic class deconstructor, right? Deconstructor. Okay, so all we've made is our constructor and deconstructor, and we both, we just have to remind the uh, compiler here that this is part of a template, and we're expecting some sort of class of, and we uh, named it T, so we just get right, we gave it a data type and a variable name, data type and a variable name. The only weird thing is you have these little brace, or these little uh, caret signs, greater and less than signs, and then we have to just keep recasting it here. Um, and then we also need to, uh, we also need to implement our methods here. So we're going to go template class T and this is generic class T and we're going to go get T return this dot whoop, I forgot the, uh, the return type here this dot object because <clears throat> that's what we're returning. This is just the type right here. We're returning this type. And it's, uh, it is it is going to be a lot of spaghetti stuff. You're going to see that uh, there's a lot of stuff that seems like we're really rehashing out uh, <clears throat> some code. And, and really, in a way, we are. Um, uh, because C++ doesn't have a lot of uh, support libraries to... <clears throat> 
to uh, write fast and efficient code. So yes, yeah, so we have new T, right? Okay, so uh, this is a setter method, right? And I'm trying not to go over time here. All right, and this is a getter method. Okay, so we're going to set this dot object is equal to new t. And we're returning this object in the other one. So we have a getter here. We have a, or sorry, we have a getter here. We have a setter here. Um, we're going to say this object equals new t. So it's whatever the constructor is of that class or that instance. Uh, could be an injure, could be a double, could be a float, who knows. Uh, so in this case, all right. <coughs> uh, so I think that kind of does it for the class here, right? We have our constructor, deconstructor. Uh, we have our setter and getter method. So essentially, um, this is what happens in the classes. Uh, is uh, removed and <coughs> right removed the stack is removed and put back on the heap right this is when memory is taken for the heap put on the stack and creates this class and all sorts of good stuff so let's go over to templates here and uh, we need to do a couple things so normally we just have to include the header file but uh, we're also going to have to include the uh, the C++ file as well, because uh, the header file isn't enough. You could declare everything in the header file. That's, that's fine. And you might even see some other examples and some people do that. So you don't, so you don't have to create <coughs> completely separate files. There's no big, you know, especially with templates and maybe if you start working, um, abstract classes aren't a big thing in C++ because uh, they don't have to work you don't have to work as much with inheritance and uh, you'll get further down I don't want to explain that in this video but you'll get further down the line so anyways to wrap this up here you have to include these two things and then we're going to include our IO stream right and we're going to be using our namespace and at this point we I think we can finally make our declaration of a generic class we need to cast it. I'm just going to cast it as a double, or maybe we'll make a, uh, and then we'll just call it G. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So, um, <coughs> so as far as this goes, this is how you basically make this class. I'm just going to compile it here. And yeah, you'll see, um, I cannot convert a double to a double here. You'll see, you'll run into that issue. So you might not even be able to declare this here, actually. Because um, you might get compile errors if it's a uh, primitive type. Primitive types don't typically have constructors um, or uh, pointer types. So, <coughs> so you'll see, yeah. There's all sorts of ways to declare generics, but in this case, I'm not going to do an example of kind of what to do next with it. Maybe in the next video, I'll make a, we'll talk about some linked lists and array lists and how you use generics and templates in C++ to generate those. So uh, I think that's going to uh, be it for this video.